What's up guys, it's me, Vitamin D, and today we're going to be finishing up the paint on the uh, dirt bike tank. So, let's get to it. Uh, first, I am going to finish up a little body work outside, and then I will, uh, just, just to kind of touch it up a little bit, get it ready. And then I'll show you guys the steps of uh, prepping, and then we will get to painting it. So, let's get to it. I did about uh, three base coats, or coats of this primer here. I'm just going to rough it up with this uh, red sand pad. Um, this is... No, the lettering is worn off. It's fairly low grit, so uh, or high grit, I mean. So we're gonna rub it down, get some texture to it, so the paint will grab hold. I will hit it with a tack cloth. I'll show you what that is in a second, and then we will uh, we'll get to painting it. So this is a tack cloth. They're wrapped separately in this package, but. Uh, it's essentially a mesh material that holds a bit of a, a wax type substance. It's got that sticky feeling to it, a tacky feeling, and that will take off the residue. Well, my plan was to use a metal hanger. You kind of bend it in the way you need it to, and I was going to hang it here from our uh, garage door opener. There's some bracketry on it I could hook it from, and then stick it down in here and just kind of hold the tank in the midair. But uh, since I'm going to be doing the bottom with a little bit of a different uh, finish, we're actually going to pull this apart and use one of the sawhorses and just set it on the sawhorse. So here is the tank. And here, as you'll see, I can still see the dents, and that is definitely going to show up. So first we're starting with a base coat of white, and you'll find out soon uh, what that's all about. But we are going to uh, spray this on here and then let that dry. Um, I'm actually going to do two coats, and then we'll move on to our next color. Right, so that actually did not uh, film. I must have not hit the record button a second time there, but we have our first coat on. I did get a little heavy, too heavy, a little close, and we did get some runs down here. Um, but we're going to let that dry. I'll assess that with uh, probably some wet sanding, and then we will go to uh, our second coat of white. So I hit the tank with a uh, bit of a sanding block. Or not a sanding block, sorry, a uh, sanding cloth again, and then uh, smooth it out just a bit, and then I took off the humps, and uh, I think we're just going to try and spray white over it, and see if we can smooth it out a little bit more. If it's not perfect, that's okay. I just don't want those runs in there or those uh, blemishes that I caused. <laughs> Alright guys, I am done for tonight on the dirt bike tank. I got the whole tank painted with that first coat of white, and then I ended up having uh, some runs. I went back, tried to touch them up, got worse from there, had to strip half the tank of all the paint. So, um, we've got it back to a decent point. There's more defects than before now, but uh, I'm okay with that. We will be going back, and uh, I think the paint job we're going with will cover up most of that. Um, you'll see what I mean in the future here in just in a couple seconds but uh, I'm done for the night here I will get back to it another day and you'll see me right now what's up guys I'm back and we are going to get to finishing up the paint job on this tonight um, it I know what you're saying he's in a t-shirt he's been in a sweatshirt and a jacket the last two videos it is 60 degrees today 60 degrees it's supposed to be even warmer tomorrow like 62 so um, we're gonna get to painting this uh, finishing up the paint job at least and then I will clear coat. We'll let it dry overnight and then uh, I might do the bottom tomorrow. So let's get to what we're doing, right? Let's get it painted. Now we're going to, as you guessed it, uh, we are going to be taping up the tank, sticking some stripes on it, um, and then we will be moving on to the uh, actual full color of this tank. All right, guys, here behind me, we have the white tank all set up. We're going to be taping that off and then painting. So we're going to stick a couple stripes on here. I will uh, videotape that, and then we'll get going on it. So we started here with a pure white. Um, there are a couple blemishes off to the side and things like that, but I'm not too worried about it. We're going to do a very simple uh, stripe right down the center just to keep that white stripe with our other color we're going to be placing on here. And then... Uh, we will get to painting that. We'll let that dry. We're going to do a second coat. We'll let that dry, and then I'll probably clear coat two more.
guys, I think we are ready to put on our uh, top coat onto this tank. Normally, when you're painting uh, stripes like this, you will use a, uh, it's a very thin tape that you'll set along the edges of this taping that would cause a thinner level of paint where there isn't tape, if you know what I'm saying. So like at the edge, there wouldn't be such a defined paint edge. But I'm going to be clear coating the whole thing. But my I can't believe it, guys. I kind of messed up. I did not hit film for that. So here we have the tank, as you can see. It is a navy blue color. We're in the navy blue, and as you know, we did the base coat of uh, white, so it will have a nice white look to it. We're going to finish up a second coat on this. I might go to a third, and then we are going to uh, be doing some clear coat. And uh, there's actually another little thing I'll be doing to this tank. So, all right, guys, so we're going to be going for coat three here of the blue. That will be our final coat of blue. We'll let that dry, we're going to hit that with a clear coat, and then it's going to have to sit for a full uh, 24 hours here. So, then we will let that sit, and then uh, we'll let that dry, and then I'll show you the final step of what we're going to be doing to this can here, this gas tank. <laughs> tape while your t paint is still wet. So after that final coat, you're going to come in here, get your tape. The goal is to pull a nice clean line. <laughs> Hey guys, I am sitting here in front of my laptop editing this video for you. Um, it did get extremely lengthy. I think I'm up to like 18, 19, 20 minutes right now. So I'm going to cut that uh, way down. I'm going to just get the uh, the paint done tonight, um, the, the color. And then uh, the next video I'll be putting out, it probably will be before a week because I already have all the footage here and it's ready to go. That will be the uh, the finishing touches to the tank that I'm doing. Um, so we're just going to split up just a little bit more. So it's going to be four parts, not just three. So thanks for watching. Peace, love, happiness. And always remember to get your vitamins. See you later.